crave your wave. <laughs> I crave your wave. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today, I'm going to talk about Meet the Deedles. Meet the Deedles is a 1998 theatrical release. It's directed by Steve Boyum, cinematography by David Henning, Hennings, editing by Alan Cody, music by Steve Bartek, and it's written by Jim Hersfeld. Steve Boyum is best known for Apocalypse Now, You, Me, and Dupree, True Lies, and Predator. David Hennings, I covered in the video about D3, The Mighty Ducks, the link will be in the description. Alan Cody is best known for Jurassic Park, Twister, Speed 2, and Inspector Gadget. Steve Bartek is best known for Back to School, Planet of the Apes, Spider-Man, and weird science. Jim Hersfeld is best known for Meet the Parents, Meet the Fockers, Doctor Doctor, and this. The film stars Steve Van Wormer, Paul Walker, AJ Langer, John Ashton, and Dennis Hopper. Steve Van Wormer plays Stu Deedle and is best known for Bubble Boy, Idle Hands, Groove, and this. Paul Walker plays Phil Deedle and he's best known for the Fast and the Furious franchise. AJ Langer plays Jesse and she's best known for My So-Called Life, Private Practice, Three Sisters and the People Under the Stairs. John Ashton plays Captain Pine and he's best known for Beverly Hills Cop 1 and 2, Gone Baby Gone, and Midnight Run. Dennis Hopper plays Slater and is best known for Easy Rider, Blue Velvet, Speed, and Waterworld. The film had a $24 million budget and made $4.4 million in the box office. It has a 7% on Rotten Tomatoes and it was considered awful and a poor attempt at bringing back the buddy movie, i.e. like Bill and Ted, Wayne's World, Dumb and Dumber. I want to get a couple specific things out of the way before I just talk about the movie in general. First, Dennis Hopper playing a scorned Yellowstone ranger seeking revenge by stopping old fa- Does that not sound like the same exact character he plays in Speed? A scorned cop looking for revenge? And money? He plays the exact same character in Speed, just better. Insane. Insane. Second, they lady and the tramped with a worm. They lit. They lady and the tramped with a worm. What? Ugh. Absolutely so nasty. And immediately after that, he says, I crave your wave. And that is like, I can't. With that, that's too much. Those were my very, very specific things that I was just like, wow, this is like uncanny and then also like weird and I just, wow. The movie as a whole, I have very mixed feelings about this movie. I did laugh some, which I was actually surprised about considering how I thought it was going to be very bad. I think Steve and Paul carry this movie. I normally don't laugh at like stupid humor and stuff like that, but I think I was laughing just because so much of it was ridiculous. like. It was Paul Walker, may he rest in actual peace, is so stunning, but also is very talented. I think he does a great job in this movie. And a lot of his charm is what carries this film because this movie is awful. The concept, the plot, terrible. Steve and Paul, pretty good. AJ Langer, pretty good. You stay for that. You stay for the charm of them creating those characters, you do not stay for the plot of this movie. The plot of this movie is absolutely bananas. It makes no sense. It is stupid. It's full of holes. It's full of just absolute garbage. Like, it's just not good. It's not a good movie. It's not well written at all. It is a horribly written film. The cinematography ain't too shabby. The editing could use some work. It really started to drag. I think it was, it started to drag at some point, but it, it wasn't fantastic. Like, none of that was good. But Paul and Steve had this charm about them that is why I stayed. Like, that's why I was like, okay, like I'm hanging on. And then things like the worm and I crave your wave made me just be like, what? <laughs> who wrote this? Like, I'm just, Jim, what are you doing? Like, I can't. So it's not my favorite. It's not gonna get a good score, but like, I do think Steve and Paul had this charm about them that helps you be able to get through the absolutely horrific plot. And that's, that's everything I got. My final rating is four geysers out of 10. Our total movie count is. Parent Dots Want and Cry Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie and watching when, follow me on the description. You'll find that movie and watching when. I put up videos on Monday and Friday, sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon, buy merch. Until next time, come on, you subscribe. I don't know you are, so you do. And don't be Slater about it. <laughs> Guys, I really crave your wave. <laughs> God, it's terrible. I crave your wave.
It's just a crime.